Hi students, welcome to E Padasala. Today we will discuss the topic importance of lawn. First we will see the introduction. A lawn is an inseparable part of good home garden. It provides a natural, natural setting for growing flowers and syrups like a canvas for painting a picture. It is cool and refreshing in summer and pleasant and relaxing in winter. A lawn is an area of closely cut grasses in the garden. In lawn, the grasses are not allowed to grow long and are frequently cut with a lawn mover. Hence, the lawn seems to be a green carpet on the land. Being a source of pride and charm, it enhances the beauty of gardens. Beside this, lawn from suitable background for specimens such as trees, shrubs, flower beds and borders. The position of lawn may be vary depending upon the layout of the garden. So next we will see the objectives. The main objectives of the lawn is creating a beautiful landscape design. Lawn is a symbol of peace and happiness. Then the lawn creates clean and beautiful surroundings. The shape of your lawn. The shape of your lawn may be regular or irregular. The most popular regular shape is rectangular. An irregular shape will be more difficult to maintain and it will require superior artistic judgment for providing a natural and beautiful settings. A rectangular lawn may be not look so formal if the herbaceous or mixed border into which it merges has been given an irregular shape. An irregular shape unequal in length and breadth with no pointed corners and not too many curves is very effective if carefully surrounded by flowering borders, trees or rockery. Advantages may be taken of existing natural features. In the hills, a portion may be converted into lawn by making a terrace and the remaining area may be allowed to retain its natural slope. In landscape gardening, position of lawn is marked in the layout itself, but in house garden it has not been marked in the layout. In the latter cases, lawn is made at the convenient places after completion of construction works. Since grasses are tough hardy herbs, maintenance of grasses in lawn is not at all a difficult job. Lawn making involves the following main steps. Selection of site, preparation of soil, raising of grass, moving, watering, top dressing, tree planting. First we will see the selection of site. The place for making a lawn should be wide open with access to direct sunlight. It may be in the corner of the buildings or in the front of rockery or in front of the water pool. The lawn to be made should be viewed from the veranda and uh, uh, windows of the house. Nothing should uh, obstruct the view of the lawn. Whether the lawn should appear ge geometrically or not and sizes are determined by the availability of the land. Then second one is preparation of soil. Fertile loamy soil rich in organic matter is best for making lawn. The selected area is dug leveled and enriched with the organic manure of fertile soil before planting the grasses. If the soil is heavy, hoar sand is added after removing the top soil to 25 cm height. The soil pH is adjusted to 6.5 to 7. If the soil is acidic, limestone is added to it and if alkaline, gypsum should be added to it for neutralizing the pH. In general, the soil should remain moister but there should be waterlogging in favor for the growing of grasses. Therefore, adequate drainage is essential. Then leveling. Leveling is very essential for your lawn. One of the easily practiced and recommended method is to check the level with the help of the split level and by inserting wooden pegs of uniform height as markers. The wooden pegs are about 30 cm high with the mark at, at least 15 cm from the top. Put the split level at the point which may be likely to be even level of lawn. Drive the first peg into the center of the lawn and test it with the straight edge and split level. Drive the second peg a distance of 2.5 meters from the first peg. Proceed this all over the places. 15 centimeter mark of the peg will be above or below the surface. Where the marks are above, soil is to be filled. Where the, there are below, soil is to be removed. 
A rough and ready method of normally followed in Indian garden is use of wooden blank about 15 centimeter broad and 60 centimeter long with a handle or with the rope tied at both the ends and pulled from one side to another. Eye estimation is the only way of judging in such a method and this practice is brought with drawbacks. Third one is raising of grasses. Having prepared the soil, water is sprinkled over the soil to settle down the soil particles and dust. Weeds if any are removed from the land. Then grasses are planted in the soil in the following ways. ways seed sowing, turfing, dippling and chopping. Then next is mowing. Mowing is, is the cutting of grasses at the required height. It is useful to avoid the neglected ab appearance of the lawn. The first mowing is given at grasses attain 5 to 10 cm height. It is done manually using chairs. The second mowing should be done at about the same height in another 3 to 4 days. Gradually the grasses will thicken and spread out. The first year is the crucial period for lawn making and the lawn should be mowed twice a week. Once the lawn is well made, mowing may be done once in a week. A well kept lawn may not look attractive if edges are not trimmed. The lawn edges must be neat and edge cutter is helpful for this treatment. Then scrapping and racking. Due to constant rolling and mowing, the soil sometimes form a hard crust on the surface and the lower part of the grasses become matted or woody. The lawn then needs to be scrapped and dragged. The entire lawn should be scrapped with kurfi. The condition of the lawn is good. Throw racking will be sufficient to take out old runners and aerate soil. Then mow the grass until the old stumps of grasses are well trimmed and the surface of the lawn cleaned and exposed to the sun. Then next is watering. Small lawns can be watered regularly with rose can. Large lawns are watered with sprinklers fitted in rows and connected with pipelines. Generally water is given at a regular interval of 10 days. Then weeding. Hand weeding is very important to maintain good lawns. Weeds should be pulled out selectively from the lawn soon after their emergence in the lawn. Then drop dressing. Drop dressing is usually done during February to March or June to July or October to November. 50 gram of urea, 100 gram of ammonium sulfate, 100 gram of bone meal and 1 kg of FIM are given as top dressing to 1 square meter area of lawn. Drop dressing will help to have perfect green lawns. Liquid manure is sprayed over the lawn once in a month to have dark green color in the grasses. 5 liquid of liquid manure is required to fertilize 10 square feet area of lawn. It is prepared by dissolving 45 gram of ammonium sulfate in 5 liter of water. Then we will see the tree planting. In lawns, grasses are alone established to add extra beauty to the area. Such lawns are called monotonous lawns. To increase the beauty of spacious lawns, beautiful trees and syrups are planted as a single specimens in the lawns. Amaritis nobilis, Callistomon lactolatus, Manicolia grandiflora, Pinus longifolia, Aragria excellus, Tuja orientalis, etc. are important trees grown in lawns to break monotony. Agava americana, Musa superba, Bohan villas, Chestrum nocturnum, Hibiscus species, etc. are common syrups used to break monotony of lawns. Then we will discuss about the methods of lawn making. Common methods of lawn making used in Indian condition are seed sowing, turfing, dippling, chopping. First we will discuss about the seed sowing. In making lawn from seed, the risks are that the life of the seed is short. Birds and ants are very partial to them and they might get washed off to one side due to heavy rain. Proper leveling of land, precautions against birds and ants and proper watering are the control of this. The next important method is turfing. It is the most commonly used method. A turfing means a piece of earth surface thickly filled with rooted grasses. In turfing, fairly long strips of earth with roots of the grass in fact are, in, are cut and laid on the soil. Turf is a slab of compact grass with a thin layer of soil bounded by the grass roots. Turf slabs are grown on concrete platform in farms to supply adequate number of pieces of turfs for lawn making. Turf slabs of 
30 centimeter into 60 centimeter or 30 into 30 centimeter size is cut from the forms and laid on the prepared area without gap. There are then beaten with turf beater for providing proper pitting of grass roots with the soil. The turfs are then watered regularly but liberally to have dense growth of grasses in the lawn. Turfing is an expensive method of making lawn. Then next is dippling. Small pits are made in the plot at the space of 15 into 15 centimeter using a dipple that is a small pointed wood and the grass roots are planted in the pits. This is usually done immediately after rainy season or making the soil wet by watering. The grass roots are take 6 months to grow into the beautiful compact lawn. This is the cheapest best slowest method of raising grasses in lawn. Before dipping or turfing, weed roots if any should be removed. Begin from one side and lay the toes as you lay bricks so that the joints of two rows of toes are the, in the middle of the next one. If this is not followed, a crack may be developed at the joints. Work from one side, starting on the wooden blank laid on the part already turfed. The toes uh, should be beaten in line. They are not damaged or harmed by doing so. Beating should be done with a wooden mallet. After turfing is complete, brush the soil into the crevice between the toes and put the roll lightly over the surface. It takes about 2 to 3 months for the roots to cover the whole ground. This is the quickest method but not most economical if toes are purchased. Toes in small blocks can also be obtained from wasteland or the jungles. Plastering with the grasses is also recommended by uh, some places. The results which not as good as with dippling. Grass runners may be chopped about 3 to 5 cm in length. Mix in the proportion of 2 parts of roots and 1 part of farmyard manure. Add water so as to make a mud plaster and spread evenly over the soil. It will take about 15 days for roots to develop. Then final method of lawn making is chopping. Root stalks of the turf slugs are chopped into small pits of 2 to centimeter length and mixed with a blasting mixer. The blasting mixer contains well decomposed cow dung or horse manure, red soil and wood ash. For two basket of chopped stalks, one basket of cow dung, one basket of red soil and a shovel full of wood ash are required for making a paste. All these components are stirred well with enough water to make a paste. The prepared land is watered to make it bed. Then the paste is spread uniformly at the thickness of 2.5 cm over the prepared soil. The pasted surface is covered with a leaf litter to minimize the rate of evaporation and to protect the root stalks from heating effect of sunlight. From the next day onwards, watering is done gently with the rose can to favor for sprouting of grasses from the root stalks. Generally, grasses take 15 days to suit up in the soil. Then manuring. Top dressing of garden soil and leaf mold in equal proportion is beneficial. For clayey soil, sand in equal quantity should be added to the mixer. 100 kg of mixer is sufficient for an area of 100 meter square. Bone meal, 1 kg per 10 meter square should also be applied. The lawn should be rolled after top dressing. This should be repeated in September. Ammonium sulphate at 1 kg for 100 meter square applied every month from October to November or to February to March. Gives the lassi green lawn with thick growth. A concentration may be half tablespoonful in 1 liter of water. It may be preferable be applied as a liquid manure. Moss and earthworm eradication. In moss infested lawns, potassium permanganate at about 30 gram per square meter is reported to be helpful. Application should be immediately after mowing. Two such application at an interval of 15 days are recommended for heavy moss infestation. Earthworm enriches the soil and it would not like to eradicate them from the lawn. If however, it is decided to uh, eradicate them, a solution of half the strength is recommended. After application, earthworms wrinkle to the surface and should be swept off. Field rats can also be nuisance to the lawns. Then we will see the lawn grasses. Dupa or Bermuda grasses is the most popular lawn grasses in the plains. It is a soft, dark green, vigorous and of trailing habit. 
it is shallow rooted needs frequent watering it is slow in germination which takes about 2 to 4 weeks does not do so well in the hills another grass is recommended for the plain is jacquea japonica for the hills the grass is recommended is lonium perine grass is useful for lawns the other grasses also recommended for making lawns are hyrali is the medium textured grass it is suitable to grow in open sunny places it is trough resistant species then buffalo grass or sun augustine grass it is a coarse textured grass useful to grow in a shady places chain grass is a fine textured grass best to grow in saline soil exposed to open sunlight then blue grass blue grass is a medium textured grass suitable for as acid soil at higher elevations bulgurius grass is the rough grass best for acid soils at higher elevations japan grass is a coarse textured grass it is ideal for sandy soils exposed to this direct sunlight it is a slow growing species dove grass it is a suitable for open sunny places dwarf bermuda grass is also useful for open sunny places it does not require frequent mowing fiscus grass is suitable for open sunny places kenya grass kulguta grass korean grasses hybrid uh, bermuda etc are also useful to grow in lawns astroturf astroturf is a synthetic lawn made from synthetic fibers grass like fibers are fixed on the surface of a polymeric sheet to make an astroturf lawn like green structures found in stadia for cricket football and hockey are formed astroturfs as been done in original lawns the astroturfs are sprinkled with water to provide some smoothness for easy rolling of the balls as the rolls over the lawn astroturfs do not absorb heat but it radiates heat to some extent therefore water should be sprinkled over it frequently astroturfs cannot be damaged by pests and diseases then we will see the care and maintenance of lawn keep on mowing continue to water and mow your lawn as needed throughout the fall aerate the soil rake the leaves fertilize uh, for future growth fill in bald spots weed control lawn care and maintenance seasonal lawn establishment and care varies depending on the climate zone and type of lawn grown aeration is one method used to maintain lawn early autumn spring and early summer are the primary seasons to seed and turf seeding is the least expensive but may take longer for lawn to be established aerating it just before planting or seeding may promote deeper root growth and thicker turf to or turf provides an almost instant lawn and can be undertaken in most temperate climate in any seasons but is more expensive and more vulnerable to drought until established hydro seeding is quick and less expensive method of planting large sloped or hillside landscape fertilizers and chemicals various organic and inorganic or synthetic fertilizers are available with instant or time release applications pesticide insecticide and fungicides are available considerations for the effects on the lawn and garden ecosystem and depression on the surrounding environment can constrain their uses essential of good lawn essential of good lawn are the grasses should be thick good green color without any weeds it should have trim edges and the land should be even it should give the feel of green carpet when walked upon the weeds are the great nuisance in the lawn and weeding is continuous process normally home garden can be managed without weedy side if the initial preparation is good the indian nut grass is the common weed and it is difficult to eradicate the weed roots should be removed after deep digging at the time of preparation of the soil for the lawn the soil up to depth of 2 spits should be dug any pits big stones should be removed smaller stones below the 7 to 8 cm should not be removed as they provide necessary drainage and make the soil porous they also keep the soil cool if the soil is very heavy with poor drainage it may be dug up to another spit and the bottom layer may be filled with stones clinkers leaves etc 
for big lawn which have poor drainage pipes may be, may have to be laid this will however require expert advice then tools used in lawn lawn care good quality tools are essential for ensuring a healthy lawn and using the right tool for the right job will make the creation and maintenance simple as well as common garden tools there are many specialty lawn tools that are designed to make lawn care easy lawn first one is lawn mower this is a essential tool for any lawn different types are available with rotatory or cylinder blades and and collect grass clippings as they go mowers can be gas driven more environment friendly type run on batteries or push propelled then second one is spinch trimmer essential for cutting grasses that the mower can't reach and they are excellent for use around the walls fences and patios they are also useful for tight corners and very long grasses edging chairs a neatly edged lawn is an attractive features in the garden and edging chairs make trimming easy push the soil away from the grass edge and then use the chairs like scissors once the cutting blade hide the other blade remains static edging chairs keep grass border trimmed then next is turfing iron the useful tool is used to remove turf from existing lawns after the square of turf has been cut the turfing iron is used to slice underneath it serving the grass roots it has a sharp point for cutting and an angled handle to produce level piece of turf half moon cutter used for creating sharp crisp edges or neat cuts the half moon cutter is designed to slice efficiently through the turf with a flat blade that ensures the straight line the next is broom good for a variety of uses a broom is a common garden tool using a stiff broom is one of the most effective method of pressing the top dressing into the holes created by aeration so brooms are also useful for sweeping hard surfaces like patios paths after lawn renovations and for keeping the garden neat then next is basin often referred to as the witch's broom this is the useful alternative to the stiff broom since the coarse brush wood is effective for sweeping leaves of the surface of the lawn in fall removing grass clippings etc lawn is an important component in all the gardens without lawn the aim of landscape is not fulfilled so lawn forms suitable background for other species like trees shrubs etc lawn is an essential part of garden because people enjoy the beauty and have peace in mind while seeing the lawn so careful planning architectural skill and care and maintenance is essential for well established lawn in the garden